In this video, we'll install Visual Studio Code, configure it for C programming, and write our first C program. Hi everyone, welcome to Stamophile. I am Imran Shah, and in this video, we'll be setting up the complete development environment for C programming. As we discussed in the previous video, we need a code editor where we write our code. Today, we'll install Visual Studio Code or VS Code, which is a professional code editor widely used for many programming languages like C, C++, Python and more. First, let's download Visual Studio Code. Open your browser and in the search bar, type Download VS Code. Click on the first link and you'll also find the link in the description. Then, click on this download button if you are using Windows. For other operating systems, click on the respective buttons. Now, it's downloading. The download is completed. Double click on the setup file. OK. Accept the agreement. Click on Next. 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 Check all the boxes. Click on Next again. And then click Install. The installation process has begun. Once it's completed, you'll see the VS Code icon on your desktop. Click on Finish and VS Code will automatically open. We need to configure some essential settings. Click on Get Started with VS Code. Choose your theme. There is the light theme and the dark theme. We won't go for the high contrast themes. Most programmers use the dark theme because it's easier on the eyes and gives a professional look. So, we'll select the dark modern theme. Then click on next section. At this moment, we don't need to install git. So, we'll uncheck it. Keep everything else as it is. And click on mark done. Now that we've installed the code editor, we need to tell it that we are going to write C language code in it. To do this, we need to install the C++ extension pack. This extension enables VS Code to understand and work with C language. To install it, click on the Extensions button on the left side of the screen. You might see the C C++ extension pack recommended automatically. If not, just type the C C++ extension pack in the search bar at the top. Once you find it, click on it. Click Install. When the Uninstall and Disable options appear, it means the extension has been successfully installed. Now that we've installed VS Code for C language, if we try to write and run C code right now, it won't work because we haven't installed the compiler yet, which is a tool that translates or compiles the C language code into machine code. The second step is to download and install the compiler for C language. Go to your browser and search for Download MinGW for Windows. Click on the first link and you'll also find the link in the description. Click on the download button. And once it's downloaded, Open the Downloads folder and double click on the Setup file. Click Install, then Continue and wait for a while. Click on Continue again. Here we need to select the packages. We only need two packages, MinGW32 Base and MinGW GCC G++ for C and C++. Right click on each and select Mark for installation. We don't need the other options as those are for other programming languages like Ada, Fortran and Objective-C. Then click on Installation and Apply Changes. Wait for the process to complete. It is completed. Click on close and close this window. After installing MinGW, we need to set it up so that VS Code can use it to compile our code. First, go to this PC and open the C drive. In the search bar at the top, type MinGW and press enter. Find and open the MinGW folder. Then open the bin folder inside it. Now, click on the path at the top of the window. It should be something like C slash MinGW slash bin and copy this path. We'll use this path to set up the environment variables so that our system knows where to find the compiler. Go to the control panel, then system and security, and then system. Click on advanced system settings, and then click on environment variables. Under the system variables section, select path, and click on edit. Click on new, and paste the path you copied earlier. Click on ok to save it. Ok and ok. Now we have completed the second step. We've installed VS Code to write the code and we've installed MinGW to compile it. Now that everything is ready, so let's write our first C program to test if it works. First, create a folder on your desktop to store all your C programs. Name it C Tutorials or anything you prefer. Open that folder in VS Code. Now you'll see your folder displayed here. To write our first C program, click on the new file icon. Name the file hello.c. 
Remember, every C program file ends with the .c extension. Each programming language has a different extension, like .cpp for C++ and .py for Python files. Once the file is created, it will show up here. If I create another file named myprogram.c, it will also show up here. And you can delete a file from here as well. Let's write our first program to test if everything is working. There is a long-standing tradition in programming. Whenever programmers write their first program, they start by writing a program that prints hello world on the screen. Since you haven't started learning programming yet, you might not understand this code at the moment. This program will simply print hello world as output. Don't worry, we will learn everything at the right time. For now, just copy the code from the description and paste it here to test if it works. Don't forget to save your file after you have written your code. If you don't save it, the file will appear empty and none of your changes will be saved and the compiler will find an empty file. Regularly saving your work is crucial to avoid losing any progress. As we discussed in the previous video, there are three steps in programming. Writing the code, compiling the code and executing the code. We've completed the first step by writing the code in this section. Now the second step is to compile the code. Open a terminal by clicking on terminal. If you don't find it, click on three dots and it will appear. Click on new terminal, a new terminal will open at the bottom. Before compiling the code, make sure to save it. Type gcc space hello.c in the terminal. This command tells the gcc compiler to compile the code of hello.c file from C language into machine code. Press enter. The code has been successfully compiled into machine code. After compiling, you will see that the compiler has generated a new file with the .exe extension in the folder. This file contains the machine code, which is a series of zeros and ones that the computer can execute. Remember, this is our source code and this .exe file is our executable software, an application that prints hello world. Now that the code is compiled, the final step is to execute or run it. To do that, tap dot slash a.exe and press enter. The code executed. And you can see the output right here. It printed hello world on the screen. Congratulations, you have written your first code and everything we installed is working fine. It might seem a bit complicated at first, but believe me, if you follow these steps a couple of times, it will become very easy. To sum up, the first step is writing the code. We do that here. The second step is compiling the code, which we do by writing this command that translates the code into machine code. The final step is running the code which we do by writing this command that executes the code and generates this output. In the next video, we'll install code blocks, which is much easier to set up compared to VS Code. If everything worked fine for you and you successfully executed your first program, let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments and share this video if you found it helpful. See you next time and happy coding.